Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to travel to Australia to see what people there, the people that originally lived there, the Aborigines, put together to again keep track of where the sun would set and rise during different times of the season. So here we're near Victoria, Australia and we have what we call the Wordy Young Stone Arrangement. And there we had a wall of stones built in this direction right here, another wall of stones built in this direction right here, and then there would be a connection right here, kind of a semi-arch in this direction. And it so turned out, notice, noticing that north is in this direction, west is in this direction, if you would stand at the very tip of this, this arrangement right here, and let me try to draw that again, there we go, there's a person, and you're looking in the various direction. If you look in this direction right here, that is where the sun would set, at midwinter, and then if you look in this direction, that's where the sun would set at midsummer. Again, they built this, this monument here to keep track of the change of the seasons, knowing when the winter would come to an end and here when the summer would come to an end. So to keep track of the season and track of what was changing on a yearly basis. So no matter where we go in the world, we always find these places where people had built these structures to enable them to tell when, it's basically like a calendar, when the seasons would change. And so even Australia, in this fashion, we see that there's places where people wanted to know when winter started, when winter finished, or when summer started, when summer finished by these structures. So pretty interesting how people for thousands of years looked at the heavens and in their way that was their astronomy, knowing how the seasons would change based upon the position of the sun, the moon, and other things that they saw in the sky. And that's how we do it. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. Welcome to Electro Online, and, and now we're going to... No, no, that's not what I want to say. Take four? No, okay.